Hey everyone, welcome to Coffee, Love, and Books. I'm Michelle, and I made a book nook. Um, I found this idea by looking, well, I was on YouTube one day, and I, went, I found on Rachel Maskey's channel, she made a book nook, and it was just so beautiful, and it combined all my favorite things, and I knew from the second I knew it was a thing that I was going to make this thing, and <laughs> man, did I make it. I have so many ideas. I'm going to make more of these in the future. Be sure to let me know if you'd like to see more making of these. Um, I'll probably do it anyway just because I'm so obsessed with these and like I cannot wait. <laughs> I have so many ideas. Um, but for this one I made the wardrobe, see, not the wardrobe, well yes, the wardrobe slash lamppost scene from Narnia and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's not perfect. It wasn't the easiest thing to make, but I made it for super cheap. I used cardboard instead of the wood most people are using. I didn't really buy anything for it except like hot glue sticks. Um, and it just, it turned out really well for the materials I was using. So if you take anything out of this video, just know you can make this stuff with cheap materials. It might not look like the real thing, but um, you know, it's not. Um, you can be crafty and creative with cardboard and um, random things you pick up from your Christmas decorations and it just, it can work that way. So um, please enjoy this process. I hope you um, make some of your own or some, just one. I, I know I'm whack for making a ton, but I hope if you make one of your own, you'll let me know. Um, I would love to see more. I'm just so obsessed. I've been pinning them on Pinterest, looking them up on Instagram. It, it's the coolest thing ever, and I'm so excited to make some more. All right, please enjoy this video. Goodbye. Okay, so um, I'm kind of really far into the project now of making my book nook 
or at least the first one. I really want to make some others because I have so many ideas about what to make and this is like the most exciting idea <laughs> that has occurred during the entire time and I'm so thankful that I saw a video about making bookmaps. But this one is, I finished the painting basically. I might get all perfectionistic again and want to retouch it up, but I think as far as I know, I need to just splatter the snow. Um, maybe do some groundwork, like literally I need to work on the ground, and um, I'm also, I'm sorry for not filming a lot, I couldn't find my camera for the second half of yesterday, but I think I got like the basic steps I took. I painted the entire wardrobe, I wanted it to look realistic because other people's were just like so realistic looking and I wanted mine to look less tacky, but we'll see because it's made out of cardboard and I'm not the best at doing wood, like I'm okay, but I tried to make it look as three-dimensional and real as possible, but we'll see. And I made the lamppost structure, I tried covering it with paper mache, <laughs> that did not work. Um, it just ended up being gross and lumpy, and for some reason my paper mache wasn't working very well, so I took it off, and I don't think I'm going to use it for anything but maybe the, to make the ground look more textured. That's the whole thing I'm looking for, texture, to make it look three-dimensional in full, but I'm excited because the really fun part of like putting stuff down, gluing the lamp, painting the lamp post, gluing it in, um, trying to figure out a way of making it look like there's fire in my lamppost. Um, I'm so excited and that's today. So hopefully I'll be finished by the end of today. Thank you.